What's up guys, I'm back here again with another video. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. Today I wanna to talk about a couple of things I learned on my weight room fitness journey, guys. Cause a lot of times when we start lifting weights, we don't really know anything. So we believe all the lies, all the hype. I just wanted to say the number one thing that's false about lifting weights is that if you're an ectomorph of your skinny you you won't be able to gain muscle guys a lot of times they tell you that your genetics will prohibit you from gaining weight or gaining muscle but that's not true guys if you're willing to put in the work you will get results it's probably going to take a long time but if you have that mental toughness you'll get far in the fitness game and you can take this outside the weight room and apply it to your life apply it to your studies, apply it to your work. It's all about work ethic. I always hear people say, I'm not gonna work hard at my job because I don't get paid enough. Or I'm not gonna work hard at my job because the owner is getting billions of dollars while I'm just getting paid pennies. Even though that's true, you don't wanna apply that principle to your life because they say how you do something is how you do everything. You gotta be proud of your work, guys. Obviously, you're not gonna kill yourself for a company that's gonna replace you the next day if you die. But you also have to have some work ethic, bro. Cause that work ethic, you're gonna carry it everywhere. Don't be lazy, bro. No one likes lazy people. It's what do you bring to the table, guys? What are your standards? What are your principles? It's not about material stuff, bro. It's all about your mind. And this weight room thing, it's a mind game, bro. So your genetics don't matter, bro. Your genetics are critical to, to develop big muscles. But if you do put in the work, you will get results, guys. If you're scrawny, but you want it bad enough, you'll figure out a way. And, and that applies to everything. For me, I was freaking skinny, guys. But I just started showing up, started getting better, started learning more. And now I'm no big bodybuilder. I'm far from the best. I'm just a regular ass fool that likes lifting weights, guys. Just got to find something you like to do and just stick with it. Because a lot of people quit. If you quit, how are you going to get results, guys? That's just common sense. The more you spend time on something, the more better you'll get. Obviously, some people have God-given talent, but if you're willing to work, you will see results, guys. It doesn't matter if you're fat. It doesn't matter if you're skinny. If you want to get better, you will get better. So the number one thing I learned is that genetics don't matter, guys. It's all about hard work. It's going to take a while, but you will get your results. Number two, you got to embrace the suffering, bro. Embrace the suffering. People want to drown out their suffering. People want to drown out their emotions with liquor. They want to drown it out with alcohol. They want to drown it out with weed. They want to drown it out with pills. A lot of people drown it out with food and they don't even realize it. It's called emotional eating, bro. They, they have so much hurt in their heart. They have so much pain in their chest that they can't control their eating. And that's why they're overweight, guys. You got to learn how to control your emotions. And I always say, it's good to cry, bro. Some people say, if you're a man, you're not supposed to cry. But what I realized is that if you bottle up all your emotions and you don't let them out, that's going to manifest in physical pain in the body. The body has to release that. I agree with some people that say, don't make it a habit of crying in front of others. But some people say you have to be vulnerable. But I do believe it's good to cry, bro. You release all that pain, release all that that hurt. But you got to embrace the suffering because this life is suffering. When you're trying to build muscle, you're suffering, bro. When you feel that pain on the last rep, you want to quit, but you push through. And then you feel good after your workout. That's life, bro. That's life. Life is full of tragedy. Life is full of sad events in this life everyone's gonna die bro 
But also life is full of joy, guys. It's how you look at things. That's the cycle of life. We can't avoid death, but it's what we do while we're here. We got to live life to the fullest. We got to embrace the suffering. Because suffering teaches you things you don't even know, bro. When you suffer, you gain a better understanding of the world, bro. You learn how to how to empathize with people. You learn how to how to relate to people, bro. You're a more kind human being. People who are out there disrespecting other people, especially workers in the food industry, if you disrespect them, bro, that's because that person's hurt, bro. That they say hurt people hurt people emotionally, bro. You gotta handle your business, you gotta handle your demons, you gotta handle your problems. And weightlifting, that's I believe that's step number one to battle, battle those emotions. Because when you're in here, it's just you, your mind, your body, and you're just letting all that energy, all that pain out, bro. That pain is not gonna defeat you, bro. That pain is actually good. When we're going through pain, we don't like that pain, bro. No one likes suffering. No one likes pain. But that's why we say you got to trust the most high up there, bro. He knows what he's doing. But once you get to the other side of pain, bro, you're going to realize, damn, bro, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Damn, bro. I thought I wanted this in my life. I thought I wanted to buy that nice fancy car. But I really now know what the most most important things are. The most important things are health, family, God. And then under that, you could say food, healthy food, water, sunlight, air books it's the simple things yeah everyone wants money because money helps you bro but you know some people say more money more problems but i i don't have money so i i don't know about that bro but i feel like it's a mindset if you have money and you have a good mindset bro you could do a lot of good things with money if your mindset ain't right bro Money is going to destroy you. So embrace the suffering, bro. It's the simple things in life that are going to make you genuinely happy. That money, those material things are temporary. So number two is embrace the suffering. Number three, you have to have patience and consistency, bro. A lot of things in life aren't going to go your way. A lot of things in life... Take a long time. Don't expect an overnight success. Just because you saw something on social media doesn't mean it's real life, bro. Social media is fake. Social media helps us communicate with friends we won't see, which is a good thing. But a lot of social media people are just trying to flex. And in my head, it's like, what are you trying to flex, dog? Are you hurt? Are you trying to impress someone to make you feel good? Is your self-esteem low? If it is, work on yourself, bro. Everyone has low self-esteem. But it's what you do with that, bro. Like I said, in this world, there's both positive and negative, bro. If you're putting out negative energy into the universe, bro, that shit's just going to reciprocate back to you. If you put out good stuff, you're attracting good stuff, bro. You attract the people you want in your life. If you hang out with five broke people with no ambitions, you're going to be the sixth broke person. If you hang out with six people that are grinding, that are struggling, but they want to make something out of their life, you're going to be like them, bro. At the end of the day, it comes back to suffering, bro. It comes back to suffering, consistency, patience, hard work. You got to stay consistent. How long does it take to graduate high school? Four years, bro. People expect 
to get results in the weight room in six months. And then doctors, bro, they're qualified, they get paid good, but how, how long do they study? They basically study their whole life, bro, like 10, 12 years after high school. You got to be willing to stick with things, bro. It don't matter if you suck at it right now. You stick with it, you'll get better. Trust me. Don't look for no shortcuts on this journey of life, bro. Maybe someone you know took a shortcut and was able to get successful. But the chances of you getting that kind of success are low. That's why you see a lot of those guys that win the lottery, bro. They hit five million on the jackpot, bro. Within a year or two, fool, they're bankrupt, bro. Cause they didn't earn that. You don't appreciate stuff you don't earn. It's gonna feel better when you work hard for it. You know you did it the right way. You could be proud of yourself. Once you once you see your results in the weight room, you're gonna look in the mirror, you're gonna be like, damn bro, I did that, bro. I did that, all that pain, all that suffering, all those tears, all that sweat paid off. And this isn't about aesthetics, this isn't about your body, because all that is vanity, bro. But that muscle that you built, damn right, you better be proud of it because you put in the work, bro. Number four. Number four, the number four thing I learned on my fitness journey. It's going to be lonely, bro. A lot of times, people are not going to support you, bro. You gotta be willing to go alone. Sometimes you're probably gonna hit up your friends. You're gonna tell them, hey, let's go to the weight room. Let's go to the gym. Let's go exercise. Let's go get better. But they're gonna be like, nah, bro, I'm gonna go to that party. And then you're left to decide if you're gonna go by yourself. And a lot of times you're not gonna go because you're gonna be de dejected. But you gotta keep pushing forward, bro. No one said this shit's easy, but you gotta, you gotta stick with it. If you have a goal, you gotta, you gotta follow that goal, bro. And most of the time you're gonna realize that goal that you wanted, once you reach it, it's not gonna bring, bring happiness because then you're gonna want something else, bro. But it's good to have goals because when you have goals, you have a roadmap. And I feel like that's the number one problem with a lot of people, bro. A lot of people, they're hurting, they're in pain, they don't have guidance, maybe their parents aren't around. That's why I say, how are you gonna reach those kids if you're a teacher, if they can't relate to you? If those kids can't relate to the teacher, how do they expect to, to reach them, to, to motivate them, to guide them, bro? You can't really do that. A lot of those teachers are just there for a pension and a paycheck, dog. You gotta have some passion for what you do, bro. Those kids need some guidance, dog. Give a helping hand. Cause I'm telling you, you could do big things in this world, bro. It's hard though, bro. It's hard. It's a lot of failure. A lot of setbacks. You just got to stick with it, bro. But the weight room is just like life. That's why I like it. It's just like life. Once you, once you understand that this weight room is bigger than muscles, bro, you're going to get far. If you're just doing it for for muscles and, and that gets you up and that gets you in the weight room, more power to you. But if you're a youngster coming up, you're going to realize this weight room is way more than muscle, bro. This weight room is like life. You got to make sure you take care of your health, your physical, your mental, your spiritual health. And stay positive. 
and thank the Most High. Keep going, cause things take time. Have have some ha have a happy Christmas, happy New Year. And the people that didn't make it to the New Year, hopefully they make their way back home. Always be grateful. If you wake up every morning, that's a blessing right there, bro. If you're able to walk, that's a blessing right there. If you have your mental health, if your mental, your brain works, that's a blessing right there. The rest is up to you. How much work you're going to put in.